Nunn versus uh, Three, two, I'm actually unfamiliar one, with the other go. the other player here. Prant, the DK is that new? Uh, anyway, actually, it's curious. Zero to none. I didn't know that he had a uh, Byleth, but granted, he had sort of been absent from the tournament scene for a while, so it might, you know, this could be his new main, or he could be trying him out. We'll see. It looks so far like the. Uh, Yeah, it seems to be doing pretty well so far. Now I heard, uh, apparently Prant actually took out Dijon Mark, which is, that's an impressive win. So yeah, I've never heard of him before, but that's because, oh my God. Okay, DK, like only DK and Bowser would have survived that. That's a, normally a very strong hit coming out from Violet. All right, but we're not really seeing any, I know that Pilot has some crazy up combos, but really requires a uh, more like the, the battlefield layout system is much better for her. All right. What? 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 Okay. All right. I am. I don't even know whether to call that a reversal. He was. D d I, there was a thought process there, but it was. <laughs> it's in Prance universes and no one else's. All right. Yeah. That's. Oh, I tried to go for the DI mixed up, but good stuff to zero to none. DI is it regardless. 138 percent. This is like one of those weird things where DK. He's a big boy. He can definitely kill, but. <laughs> Sometimes he can, yeah, sometimes he can actually struggle, especially when he doesn't have rage. All right, finally they're going to do it. But, you know, he doesn't necessarily have the greatest run speed if an opponent misses up and, you know, he has back air to space um, and neutral air, but <laughs> given his size, jumping into the air, it's, it's hard to, like, space with those moves. Uh, we do have a DK punch fully charged up, though. Not quite going to kill just yet, but oh, now if it lands, that would actually bring this to a very even game. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was exactly what he was looking for. And with none of them, tra yeah, I know that. No way is that going to be connecting at this point. And, oh, going for slick movement, but <clears throat> yeah, zero to none. Just choosing his place very wisely and sticking there. Very minimal movement, actually, from zero to nine. Instead, opting to use those giant hitboxes that... Oh, are you? Okay, no, he's fine. Wow, no invincibility, but the fact that Pilot has that tether can make it a little bit awkward. Wow, I'm surprised I, that move has super armor on it. But, yeah, good timing from zero to none, and can keep him in the corner. Finish the job just like that. <laughs> Each battle a chance to grow. <coughs> Apologies, folks. <coughs> All right, moving <coughs> into game two. I. I feel like there were some very pivotal uh, sort of drops on Prance's part. For instance, there was that one moment with the, uh, with the DK punch. It was very, very close to connecting, and in fact, he even read that uh, Zero to was going to land with an aerial, and that move does have super armor on it. It is a way to catch landings, uh, but he wasn't quite spaced properly. And then, of course, there was that stock two where he just decided to die. I don't know. Regardless, though, we haven't really seen DK's... I don't know whether to call it explosivity. It's more just brutality. Oh, boy. Ooh. And he burns his jump. Yeah, burning jump quite frequently, but the thing is, against violence, you kind of have to. That up B. A lot of characters, you don't have to jump until they start to approach you more. But the fact that the up B can hit you from so far away means that you are... What's happening? Okay. Uh... I, I'm sorry. Normally, it's it's just the fact that Prant made a really good... I mean, beating Dijon Mark is no mean feat. 
he managed to earn his way to this point to get a oh get a shot at zero to none. But now just these, these recoveries are not there. Okay. Let's see though. Not enough. Good stuff. Yeah, being able to jump all the way out there and the fact that sends Zero to none at such a low angle. He basically starts at the bottom left corner and has to make it all the way back. So Prant keeping himself in this, but ah, it's it's awkward. You know, he does have 95%. That's a little bit of rage, but he needs to get more damage on Zero to None before he can even start putting any kind of pressure on him. Okay, missing the tech, getting the roll read. Not quite killing with the up air, but oh, that's not going to do it. Good job. It gets gets Zero to None off of him and maybe even an opportunity to turn this around. Okay, going to be recovering to the ledge just like that. Is this going to be another one of those? I, yeah, again, just too far out there. He feels grabs at the ledge, killing in ways that, I mean, I'm not going to say you need to buy a ledge, but against, oh, okay, cool. Um, Against other characters with better recoveries, you can't quite cheese out a kill like that. Regardless, despite all of these, uh, these random stock drops from Prance, keeping it even, there's one stock apiece, and given DK's size, you know, he's, this is an even game, I'd say. Now, this is interesting. We're seeing Zero Tonight be a lot more aerial, doing a lot of short hop forward air, doing these nares, and I'm wondering, what is DK's anti-air option, especially because the forward air comes from so far away. I guess that's one way. If you can get into Byleth's face and just shield the forward air point blank. He burns his jump again. Oh, the upbeat clipping, though! Oh, that almost, that prompt, that might have killed. But now Zero Tanon still in kind of the controller's, oh my, and he read the air dodge but didn't get there in time to punish. He's not going to have enough time. Yeah, he's able to tech that. Zero to none knows what to expect. A nice parry. Reads the roll. Brings him all the way out there. Hold on. Oh, he makes it back, though. The great match from zero to none. And I think that's not going to do it, actually. Back is not strong enough. And now he's the one stuck at the ledge. Not going to be killing, though. 150%. Brent is so close to death, but he's hanging on by the tiniest of threads right now. I don't know. That's such a risky edge guard. And, oh, I, a grab at the ledge will probably do it. Back throw, that's nowhere near enough. It's going to be clipping, and it's not enough to make it back to the stage. Oh, so close. But, you know, we are in the earlier stages of bracket, so best two out of three. That's a 2-0 for zero to none, even though it kind of it didn't feel like it at the end there. <laughs> Prant just knowing how to survive. It's so pivotal, especially against a character like Byleth, recognizing what her kill options are, and she has many of them. So being able to really scout out and continuously...